Welcome back to my channel. All right, um, this is Coach Mike. Usually we try and do stuff outdoors recreating. Starting to add a couple DIY projects to the, uh, to the channel. Um, I am super excited about this project. Uh, I started doing some research on it here a couple weeks ago. Uh, I finally decided to go ahead and pull the trigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this video from start to finish. Um, this, is, this is where I'm at. Um, let's show you what we got going on. I am going to build a smitty sled for uh, my ice fishing sled. Um, I've done a bunch of research and I'm eh, not that's a lie. I have not done a bunch of research. I watched a video that another gentleman put out and I'm gonna put the link right. Where does the link go? The link goes I'm not sure if it's there or if it's there somewhere up. There we go. Somewhere up there is the link to the video where the guy expl explains about um, the difference between having the Smitty sled compared to not having it. Uh, it's really cool. He uses a uh, fish deal, uh, uh, weigh, a weigh scale, and he pulls on it and it shows the difference of weight when he adds weight and how much he's actually pulling on. It's a really sweet setup. So. I learned from that that I'm doing this project. So, what I have here is, um, I just found two two by sixes. Um, two chunks of two by six that are from my supply of extra wood that's up there. Uh, I also found a one by four. Um, I was gonna use a two by four, which I have. There's a two by four down there, and there's some more two by fours, I think, buried in up there. But I got to thinking about it, and for trying to shave weight, I think that the one by four is gonna be really cool. So what I'm gonna try and do is figure out a way to share this video to where you can see everything that I do, but not make it 45 minutes long. Um, my goal is a 10 minute video on how to do this. The bad part is we're already two and a half minutes in. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, and I forgot the most important part. Um, my landlord here, uh, Tony, um, had left some skis behind. He said I could have this pair. So I'm using a pair of old uh, Pocket Rocket uh, 175s. So those will be the skis for the thing when I'm all done. So starting out, we are going to mark a bunch of chunks of wood at 8 inches. The 8 inch pieces will be my, my uprights. Two in the front, two in the back. So let's uh, cut some, let's cut some uh, wood. All right, to determine the length of my one by fours, what I wanna do is take a measurement of my sled. Okay, I wanna be a little bit wider than the sled. Uh, sled measures at about 30 inches, so I'm gonna go 32 inches. So we need two pieces at 32 inches. Okay, so I was gonna skip a step, not on, not on purpose, but just because that's how I roll. Um, you gotta notch the blocks. So, what I'm doing to notch my blocks, because I want a one by four to sit right inside of there like that, is on an eight inch block, I'm coming in two and three sixteenths on one side, and, uh, Back to that deer. Two and three sixteenths and two and an eighth. You'll see the difference now if we change it. Take it as is. We'll mark those out like so. Okay? So now we got all three of those marked for our width of our block. Um, I don't have a perfect wood shop. I don't have uh, 
some of the stuff I wish I did. So for part of it, we make do with what we've got. Um, what I'm going to do is make a three quarter inch cut deep with a saw and then I will use my router to clean out the stuff in between. Um, I know it's not perfect, but it's what I've got. So, without further ado, here we go. And if you haven't seen yet how these make really cool fishing pole holders, let's check out my other videos. Uh, I've got a nice fishing video where I show how I use those for fishing pole holders and nice stuff. So, you got the uh, supports cut left uh, so on the video about 40 seconds ago. Um, you got these bad boys notched. The next step is going to be to drill the skis. Um, first thing I've got to do is figure out exactly where I want them to sit. We'll get those, we'll get those marked out. We'll get the holes marked. Um, I'm going to use screws in from the bottom, just regular wood screws. And then I'll countersink the holes so that they're flush, and though it will attach those to there. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is pull in, find our halfway. At two inches here and two inches here. I'm going to rip a straight line. And this doesn't, I don't know, I don't think this has to be exact, exact, but I mean, you want your screws as close to the middle of the piece of wood as you can get them. So. The more exact, the better. Double check that one real quick. It's right on some writing. Pretty sure that's it right there. It is right there. Okay, I'll do the same thing on this side. Find the middle of the ski. Make our three marks there. Okay, so now we've got them top drilled or top marked. Or they're in the same place on both skis. Bring the funk back. All right, quick update on the Smitty sled. Um, here's what I've run into. All right, I got my bolts in. I don't know if it's because these are a little bit loose or what, but I've got a little bit of play this way. 
uh, that's more than I'm comfortable with. I'm afraid that what'll wind up happening is we'll just wind up snapping stuff off. So, um, it could be because I used one by fours instead of two by fours, which um, I can always deepen the grooves and put two by fours in there instead if my next couple of thoughts don't work. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna try is just screwing these uh, cross members from like put two screws in here that screw into the one by four so that I can still lift that apart. The way this is set up now, that can come apart so that when I want to put it in the car, I can put it in the car. Um, in the truck, I can leave the whole thing assembled, but not in the car. So, we're going to try and screw those on there, like so, and see if putting a couple of screws on each corner is enough to stabilize it front to back. Um, I'm okay if it's got a little bit of play this way. Um, I, don't, I don't have an issue with that. If that plan doesn't work, the next thought is to put a full deck on it. Um, I don't want to put the deck on it just because I'm trying to save weight, but if it's going to just completely come apart, there's no point in having it no matter how light it is. So uh, first step, we're going to try this. We're going to see what it does. If it works, fantastic. If it doesn't, then we'll go to the full deck and we'll just put a flat sheet across the whole thing and that'll definitely stop it from moving anywhere. So, without further ado, let's give this a shot. Okay, um, I've got the support screwed down. Currently I have two screws on each side and that completely took away the wobble this way. Um, I still have a little bit of flex here. I think I'm okay with that. I think having that flex will allow, I mean with the weight of the sled and everything else, I think that's going to be just fine. On that note, my battery's going dead. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching this video. Again, um, this is an update, so it's going to be tagged on to the end of the other video. But I can't end without saying, don't forget, recreating is cheaper than therapy. Have a fantastic day.